Hey guys, welcome to Vlogmas Day 5. Bounce that ass and drop that ass and pop it like a shootout. I pull them panties down, he's smiling like they bought the food out. I hop up on their face and make my hips go like a luau. I showed you I'm a gay tonight. As you guys can see, I'm already home in Houston, like I, I said in the vlog, but like, yeah, I'm not gonna get it. Um, This is the intro. I forgot to make the intro when I was making the butters at my house. Let me just stop. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 5. I um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and yeah, enjoy the vlog. Okay, welcome to the body butter section of my kitchen. It's actually... Maybe I should just put it down because everything's kind of like on this side, which is weird. But this is how the camera's going to be angled. Um, This is the best I can get it. I'm wearing my AirPods so you guys can be able to hear me clear. Because in day five, my voice is kind of a little far when I was packing the order. So I'm going to wear the AirPods. Even though I'm probably not going to talk during this. But oh well. Let me turn the camera down so y'all can actually see. Okay. So here's the base of my body butter. It's cocoa butter and shea butter. Here's my mixer. I just finished making another batch. So I do take the um, things off so I can scrape the excess butter off because baby, we don't waste no shea butter. Shea butter is expensive. So I try not to waste anything. I try to get the most butter off of these things as possible. And I'm on a rush against time, y'all. My mom just told me she's on the way already. And I'm just like, how are you already on the way? I'm trying to get this to be angled right, but this might be kind of hard. Okay. Here's my spatula. I'm trying to see. Okay, yeah, it's pretty, pretty hard. This stuff smells so good. Cocoa butter smells way better than shea butter. I'm just going to put that out there. I'm trying to dig it in so it won't come flying out. Okay guys, so this is the consistency I usually go for just like cake icing. You don't want it to be too thick because the body butter is automatically gonna harden up after you after you whip it and then you put it in the jars, they will get hard on their own. So you wanna make sure that the consistency when you're actually piping it is a little on the thinner side. Just so when you pipe it, if you are using like one of these, when you pipe it, it'll actually have like the design will show better because if the butter's really thick and not like smooth when you try to pipe it it's just gonna not it's not gonna look really pretty so i tried to whip mine to be a little thin so then when it sits in the jar for a day it's gonna get hard on its own so yeah and if you see like little chunks in mine i also use cocoa butter and the cocoa butter i got was not i don't know it's like this is my first time using cocoa butter, so I'm not really used to the consistency of it. So, it does make some chunks, which is weird. But they're more like air bubbles, because when I piped my butter yesterday, I didn't see any of the chunks in it. So, I think they're just air bubbles. So, now I'm just scraping the sides, because we don't waste no butter over here. Shea butter is expensive. And if you, if you feel like your consistency is too thin... All you have to do is put it back in the fridge for like five or ten minutes and it'll get hard all over again. I mean, I do that sometimes. Like, I'm going to do that now. Probably for like five minutes just because I don't want it to get too hard. Because if you let it get hard all over again, you literally have to whip it like for 20 minutes all over again. Like, it, it's a lot of work. I really do want to get a stand mixer because then it can just whip on its own. And I could just watch it and I don't have to like do no manual labor, but I don't know. My body butters are not as popular yet, so I don't want to invest in anything until I know if this is something I'm going to have on my website for long term, basically. And guys, I am considering getting a lip gloss filling machine now, just because um, to make bulks of one gloss, I guess. Like my um, Ruby Rose gloss and my Crystal Clear gloss, people, have, people really like those two glosses. And making ruby rose with a syringe is kind of hard, not gonna lie, because you have to keep stopping, adding roses, not stuff, filling up the syringe over and over. It's like, it is time consuming. So that's the only reason I would consider getting a lip gloss machine. I'm still deciding because that machine is hard to clean and 
don't know. I don't like complicated things. Okay, that's as much as I can get off. I'm gonna pop this in the fridge for five minutes. And then, probably not even five minutes. You could really do like three minutes to be honest. Cause this stuff gets hard quickly. Like, and while this, we can't waste no butter y'all. And if you're wondering why I'm wearing the same pants from the last video, both of these videos were recorded in the same day. I just changed my shirt so it wouldn't be obvious. But yeah, I recorded the first video in the morning and I'm recording this one in the evening. But I probably won't finish it till tomorrow because I'm about to go home to my mom's house. Um, and I need to get all this stuff done before I leave. Okay, let me put this on this paper. And I'm gonna take the lid. See, this is what I, I have all these bags down here so none of the oil gets on my cabinet, on my counters. Okay, off to the fridge we go. Okay, let me fix the camera. Y'all still can't see me. Okay, so now I'm going to finish getting my glosses ready for my pop-up shop because I realized I didn't make that many glosses. I'm gonna go make some more glosses and then hopefully my mom won't be here yet. And then we'll start piping. And I'm taking these samples to my pop-up shop as well. Because I'm not taking the, the actual butters. Like these butters I'm not taking. These will definitely just be for my shop. So I will be taking the samples. So if anybody tries to sample and they like it, they can actually purchase the full size on my website. So let me get out some empty jars. I think I made the butter I made is enough for three jars, I believe. Yeah. This is the cup I use to put the the piping bag in it so that's why there's really shade butter in it because i made butter earlier in the day so yeah Let's get my jars ready i believe three jars let me just get a fourth one just in case because you never know i might get a little and this butter is going to be peppermint scent to have peppermint scent i was going to do half red half white but i don't really like doing the two color thing it's entirely too much work to like fill up the bag with two different colors it is it's it's really it's hard so i'm just gonna do one color and i'm probably gonna sprinkle i kind of did the brown one i'll sprinkle the, um, i'm gonna sprinkle this white pigment on the top of it to make it look like i don't know maybe i won't name it candy cane i'll probably name it like christmas spirit or I don't know something something Christmassy because the scent is candy cane, but I don't want to name it candy cane since I'm not doing the red and white thing. But it's still gonna have that scent, so I'll use this pigment for the top. Okay, it's actually been two minutes, so let me get the butter back. Okay, guys, so I've already added the peppermint, the candy cane fragrance, and I decided that I'm gonna sprinkle gold glitter on the top, and it's gonna be called Christmas because that's the best name I could think of at this time. So, I probably won't post it till tomorrow so I can think on the name a little more just to decide if that's really what I want to call this. Y'all, getting this thing to go all the way down is hard work. So you guys are, you can't make sure there's space right here so when you pull the bag up, the, the butter is not like all over your hands. Okay, that's the best game. This stuff smells good. Let me get out the sample ones. I only have three left because I made so much of the hot chocolate one. So I'm only gonna have three samples, but three is better than none. Now, I don't know if that glitter is gonna show up 
golden or orange, but we're just gonna have to see. Okay. See how the butter didn't really go down like it was supposed to? And it's coming up to the top. That's what I was trying to avoid. So yeah, I'm still learning how to do this, y'all. So don't judge me. Okay. Okay, here we go. Oh. looking good so far. Okay. There we go. And I'm trying not to fill it up to the top because when I put the cover on, it's going to smash it. So I don't think this is enough for a whole one. So we're going to do a little sample one. So we just do plop, plop. plop. And the samples are good for like your hands and stuff. You can't really do more than that with this. So I'm going to do the bottoms of all of them. Um, yeah. Okay. Now we got to put more in here. I need to get bigger, bigger bags because these bags are really small. But these are the ones that came when I first started making butters and I didn't want to buy more bags because when I tell you I have almost 300 of these, like, I don't want to buy more. y'all can see there we go Wasting nothing up in here. Okay, that's basically everything. I'm gonna use whatever's in here to rub on my body, probably. Okay. This one's looking pretty. Yeah, 
and we're done. I'm gonna try to fill the side up. I hate when there's like gaps in it. I just made it taller. Okay, that's good enough. So we have four for the website and this little that's here, I don't know where to put it because I don't want to waste it. Um, where are we going to put this? I'm going to just leave this in here for now. My mom's coming. So she can use it. Okay, so here are the butters. Um, Let me wash my gloves, which is stupid. but My gloves are washed, so they're not sticky anymore. Which is better. So here's how they look. All of There's no way all of your butters are going to come out looking the same. One of them... They're always gonna come out looking different. I could have filled this one up more, but this is the height I want them all to be at. Cause when I put the lid on, it's gonna smush this one and this one's gonna like look perfect when you open it. This one might look good too. Yeah, so these are how they look. So now it's time to experiment. Where's my pie pit? It's time to experiment with this gold glitter and see. We're gonna experiment on the sample sizes first because if we mess these up, they were free, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Here's how it looks. So this is Christmas spirit. It smells, oh my God, it smells so good. That one needs a little more. I want the glitter to kind of show on your skin when you rub it, but not like so much where it's like, what the heck? Okay, so Christmas spirit is done. So I need to take a picture of these because once I put the lids on them, they may not look the same. So this vlog is long. Okay. Okay, guys, I'm at my mom's house and I bought a ring light. I went to Walmart, y'all, and I bought this ring light. And it's so much better than the one I have and it's way bigger. So, so this is, um, I don't know what outro this is. This is either for day five or day six, one of the days, but don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and tell us on my channel, and I'll definitely do that. So yeah, love you guys. Peace.